Speaking freedom. Speaking freedom. Giving you the answers to be free. Be free. Be free. Cause we're speaking freedom. All right, I love you, baby. Have a good day at school. Okay, so um, on this show, um, I clicked in where they was talking about uh, they played kept playing a clip a clip of a young lady saying that men need to step into their roles and be leaders. And um, Frank Ski position in the conversation is that women have basically dominated their roles, um, the roles of leadership. Love you. Women have basically dominated the roles of leadership. This is Frank Ski's position and basically have left no space for men is what I'm hearing and the young lady and the young lady that is um, doing a show with him stated that um, the conversation should not even be had because um, men don't have to lose their position and roles in leadership just because women are stepping up. It should be a joint power and not a power struggle. Um, now, listen, I didn't hear the rest of the conversation or the recording that was played. Um, they continued to play the one little clip um, from the point that I tuned in. And then Frank made a comment about um raising a young daughter and his wife being more educated than him and young girls being raised to be leaders um and that he, i think it, it sounds like his position is that uh, oh and then the last thing that he mentioned was that in a conversation a video a recording or some sort um, there was a woman that wanted to get a watch and the man um, said that it was not a good idea as the breadwinner the woman was saying that I'm that she makes so much money to where she was buying the watch anyways in which the young lady that do the show with Frank I think her name might be Nina I don't know though um, stated that um Power is not about control in relationships. Leadership is not about control in relationships or being controlling. It's not a dictatorship because you are a leader. It is still a joint decision to where, um, you know, just because you the man doesn't mean that what I want, desire, or whatever else isn't as valid because you're the man and you're supposed to be the leader so here <laughs> after three minutes of trying to um of trying to give you what i heard from this show this is my comment so in general um women have been downtrodden um, made to view themselves less and I want to say in some instances given the short end of the stick because everything traditionally and biblically says that women should not have a voice that women should not be equal and honestly listening in on this portion it sounds like Frank's manhood is questioned by strong women okay and the last thing that he said was that um how do you we fix all of the mama's boys and all of that like there is nothing wrong with a man loving caring for respecting and cherishing his mother the goal should be to 
transition his love, respect, and honor for his mother to his wife. And he's not trying to control his mother, although he may care and interject and have an opinion about the things that his mother does. Now, listen, this whole conversation is quote unquote bewildering a little bit because literally um i have had this whole dialogue of conversation since at least 2012 and 2013 um at that point it was after my divorce and i was um acquaintances with some people that i grew up from high school with and um they were in their own mixtures of relationships and at the time i was like man why is it like a game in relationships where somebody got to be um controlling the relationship versus being able to work together because a lot of times in relationship people play games they do stuff to keep to leave you hanging to leave you on the string to leave you kind of like wanting more or to exhibit the control of the relationship and having the upper hand but honestly in my opinion there should be no upper hand in relationships there should be no um i gotta be in control or i gotta be dominant in my ideal of submission it is a joint submission like we are both submitting to a purpose bigger than us so that allows me to submit to you respect your decision respect your opinions respect your stance and you are submitting to the purpose in which we both submit to and then the roles in which i play into that purpose that means that where i'm strong at you honor my strengths where i'm weak at you build up those weaknesses so that I can be stronger in those areas because then I am a byproduct of you. Same way for, um, like, it's so many aspects of living that is that are caught up on who's in control because control is a power move, technically. Um, but being in control or appearing to be in control does not mean that you have power so many people play mind games of letting the person think that they run some shit that they don't fucking run to where you will really be lost thinking that you up, got the upper hand on somebody who's allowing you to think that you got the upper hand so that they can do what the fuck they want to do you know what i'm saying like a lot of times in relationships women are likely to be deceived by their significant other of thinking that they got the upper hand and they controlling the relationship controlling who they be with controlling who they hang around and the truth of the matter is you control what they allow you to believe you control because it's always other shit that motherfuckers can do if they wanted to do it you know what i'm saying so the goal is being with someone on your same mental level spiritual level um physical level uh financial level to what extent you know it could be or what works or you know matching with someone who's on your level so when frank talks about now women are being raised to be leaders that should not make a male or a man less of a leader it should help him become a stronger leader because now we have two brains working as leaders in the relationship. Men should not have to relinquish their roles in order for women to be leaders. A queen and a king are royalty together. I mean, just because you married into the royalty doesn't make you less royal in that relationship now the people may not look at you the same they might treat you different but if if people truly respect the king then they'll honor his queen regardless and um and that that's the biggest thing but when frank talks about how women leaders 
it kind of almost sounds like he's saying that women leaders are bad. It remind me of how T.I. be because T.I. Um, it, and it's not necessarily a horrible thing because T.I. is very macho, misogynistic in a lot of ways that he displays when it comes to women um, in power. Um, now, he may have changed and grown since you know, the first time I ever mentioned it, but he has a history of, uh, you know, being a little bit male <laughs> egotistical. Um, but it sounds like Frank is dealing with the same thing and it's not really T.I. or Frank. It's a conditioning that if women have leadership roles, then men have no place. And that is not the case. If anything, men have a more stronger position because instead of them having to be on the forefront, they can lead from the back. And leading from the back is more strong and dominant than leading in the forefront because people um, expect certain things from you when you're the leader. But when you're leading from the back, you can make more strategic moves because nobody is seeing you. Nobody is targeting you to be the leader. As the leader, they are only seeing you as a supporting cast. Supporting cast isn't always bad. Like, we got to get out of the role that somebody has to be superior to the other person. Is if If you're in a relationship, then stepping into your role is saying, you know what, babe, I see that you're a strong, powerful woman and I'm a strong, powerful man. Let's be even more powerful together. But I think what threw me off is that oh, is that Frank said, well, his wife is more smarter, more educated than him. That doesn't make Frank less of a leader unless in his mind he feels like he's inadequate. So a lot of things that people deal with when it comes to relationship is mental inadequacy. If you feel like because she makes more money than you that you can't be a man or you can't be a leader um, or that you have to control the things that she does in order to be a leader, then you missed the course on leadership. Leadership is not who is in control of other people. It's who maintains control despite what's going on around you. Leadership is being strong enough to allow other people to make decisions that you may not agree with and being a supportive cast when things play out, whether it's in their favor or it's not in their favor. Leadership is not trying to control other people, not trying to control any narrative or anything like that. Leadership is about working together for the greater good of who's ever is involved. When you are a leader, it's not a my way, me type of thing. It's about the collective. And a lot of people fail um, honoring leaders because they don't understand what leadership is, especially when leadership comes in the form of a woman. A lot of people fail at, um, you know, just the normal things because they we have learned what leadership is from people who are uh, um dictators we have learned leadership from a control point the people that wrote the bible that told us that women should basically shut up <laughs> and be housewives they did not honor or respect women in a way that would allow for the leadership to be a joint effort like we should not be bumping heads. Our heads should be coming together and making better decisions for the next generations, for our children, for our household. And a lot of people, a lot of men feel threatened by women who earn a lot, who have strong mindsets and strong positions in life because it threatens their dominance. But true dominance will cause even an alpha female to be submissive. 
I'm trying to see if this is gonna come back so I can catch the the rest of what they had to say about it. But um, listen, just because a woman makes more money, wants to make decisions about her life, does not mean that she will not submit as a wife to a man who is a strong leader. In order for a female leader to submit to a man, he has to be a stronger leader. Now, let me go ahead and dummy proof this because, or foolish proof this because, there are some men that are not dominant, are not, ho, 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 ho. there are some men that are more supportive, that are more um, passive. And there are women that need men that are passive, supportive, and all of those things. But there are women who are strong leaders who want to take that leadership hat off when they get home, who want to be able to say, you know what? When I'm at work, I'm at work, I'm bossing, I'm leading, I'm controlling shit. But when I come home, I want to just be a woman. I want to be able to take my hair down, let my hair down, take my makeup and my face off a boss leader outside in the community and come home and be submissive. The thing is, I think, is that there's a disconnect. Kitty, kitty, baby, get at things Um that a lot of people think that if you are a strong woman that you will not submit to a man but most of the women that have problems with submission are not the real strong women those are the weak women who don't control their lives so they don't want to submit to somebody who can help guide their lives like for me as a woman i believe i'm an alpha female i believe i'm strong dominant opinionated and all of those things but the greatest goal in a relationship is to not have to be that in a relationship. My ex-husband would allow me to be dominant if it meant that he had less responsibility. But if you really want real responsibility, is learning how to be a dominant, strong male who can come together with a dominant, strong female Knowing that if you are truly a leader, then that woman will submit to your leadership because she trusts your vision. She trusts where you're taking her to. A lot of men don't have um, emotional stability, emotional intelligence. They don't know where they are going. They don't know what they want to do. They're just chasing the bag and they have no purpose to submit to. So a woman cannot submit her leadership, her role, her person, her life to a man that is not capable of leading her. If she wants to be led, there are some women that want to be dominant. They want to be in control. They like beating on men. They like being oh, the macho man in the relationship. But there are enough women that not that do not want to wear the pants in a relationship for this to not be a discussion. And we're going to end it there. Speaking Freedom presents Good Head Group providing advanced spiritual studies and personal developmental insight. Brought to you by Love Gang and Speaking Freedom. We look forward to helping you grow in all the areas of your life. We hope that you find all the information needed for your growth. God bless. Please listen to all disclaimers provided. If you are currently under physician's care, please maintain that relationship. This is not intended to stop your current treatment plan. If you need physician care, please seek out medical attention. Please note, all results are based on the individual's ability to adapt and adjust to any given environment and situation. We are not responsible for your results at Speaking Freedom. The life enhancement coaches at Speaking Freedom provide information to help you grow. You are responsible for maintaining that growth, taking on and then applying the information to your individual life as you deem needed and necessary. This may contain and explain explicit content. Please use parental discretion. For best results, you will need an open mind, the ability to research and a balanced lifestyle. Please join us daily for your inspiration and motivation. We have the entire world to offer you at your fingertips.
your life enhancement coaching specialist. Thank you for choosing us to assist you in accomplishing your personal and professional goals. And have a beautiful day. In love, we trust. This is brought to you by Good Head Group, Love Gang and Speaking Freedom. We thank God for you and we love you. Hi, I'm Casey. Dr. Casey, to be exact, owner of Speaking Freedom, LLC, Love Gang, and Good Head Group, LLC. I am also a certified life coach and host of Speaking Freedom Radio and TV. Although I have recently became an ordained minister, please be aware that I am still me, raw and uncut the way God made me and allowed life to shape me. I pray and expect God to use me for people who can receive the way I communicate, as well as my delivery. I am not for those who are already saved, religious, or super deep. I am for the leaders, hustlers, and street influencers around the world, including pimps, killers, drug dealers, and working girls. I am sharing my experiences and perspective to help someone be inspired to be better. And for those who can identify with the various aspects of my mindset. My mindset alone does not determine the status of any active connections or current relationships that have not already been specifically addressed. Additionally, these recordings should not be taken personally if I have not already spoken to you about the topic or expressed that I have an issue. These recordings are a part of my life's work to document my experience, perspective, and to see how life has shaped me. My plan in using my stories publicly and socially is to encourage growth in those who can identify with the experiences and find inspiration in my life to heal and overcome the path that they've been set on, no matter what they face as according to the purpose of their soul until healing takes place. Despite the experiences that I may have had with any person, sometimes known and unknown, I hold no grudges, no no hate, no bitterness, or any other ill feelings against anyone. I pray that your life is whole and very fruitful. I forgive you as I hope that you forgive me if I have wronged you or anyone that you know or anyone who listens to me. I pray that you have peace and extend the same grace to others. I have love for everyone, especially on a human level, despite flaws or experiences. But that doesn't mean that I will associate or be close to every human that I know or me. I've experienced a very eventful life and truly believe that my mindset and story based on experiences could help those who identify with how I think and are looking for inspiration to grow further, go beyond hurt, and be great. I pray that these recordings bless you and your soul in every way and whatever way God has intended. Sending love and light to all. Thanks for listening. Achieve your dreams.